The mayor and councillors of the Castro City Council conducted a tour of the facilities and areas that are the responsibility of the Castro City Council. The tour spanned a period of two weeks and provided the council an opportunity to assess and identify key areas that require immediate attention. The final leg of the facilities assessment tour was conducted in Castro South. Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information and the Parliamentary Representative for Castries South, Honorable Dr. Una Seller, joined the CCC team in touring the community. He commended the mayor and the councillors for undertaking the initiative. The playing fields that they have to maintain, their community centers, um, that they have to maintain, the clearing of certain drains that they have to maintain. Um, so we visited a number of projects. We started by the old cemetery hospital road about the cleaning of that old cemetery, uh, removing a lot of you know debris that has that have accumulated over the years. We did four show with the drains, banan playing field. We did a few other areas. Ended up in Bassages. We have to look at the incompleted community centre, Marigo, um, the playing field, and different areas throughout the constituency. We stopped and take a look at it. The hope is that the Cashew City Council would have an assessment of the work that they need to do in the constituency. They can then prepare their work program, they can do their budget, and they can seek the financing from central government to fulfill their mandate. The mayor of Castries, Her Worship Geraldine Lendor Gabriel, indicated that an important component of the tour was consultation with various community groups. This, she said, ensures that the CCC is addressing the needs of the community. She lauded the communities in the Castries area for their positive response. We found that generally the communities were very welcoming, the persons in the communities were welcoming and not very demanding. I think the things that they were asking for were very basic things that needs to happen and so it requires that we address those needs quite quickly. Some of them a little more challenging than others but there are some what I would call some very low hanging fruits that we can actually address quite quickly and we are committed to ensuring that we do so. The mayor further outlined the way forward now that the problem areas have been identified. As we speak, there's some community, when we went in last week, we've actually gone into the Human Resource Development Center at Entry Pool. And we've already begun discussions with the group. So we have a, a meeting quite soon. Um, as I've indicated, we're not going to just go in there. We need to know what is happening. We need to speak to the people who have had oversight for some of those facilities and work with them. So we, we are going to be rolling out. The next four weeks would be meetings with those groups and um, for us to identify what is considered to be the most important to them. Because again, it requires budget allocations, it requires allocating the resources in the best way because we do not have everything. But once we do that, I think it's going to allow us to be very strategic about, the, about closing those various gaps over time. The final leg of the Castry City Council's facilities assessment tour took place on Sunday, 16th January, 2022. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.